Hey guys, and uh, welcome to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. And before anyone asks, I am actually on holiday and I have actually been given permission from the better half, my wife, to do this video. I was like, babes, I want to do a video. It's uh, it's going to be quick. Maybe it's going to take me like 30 minutes to an hour to get everything done. She's all good. She's getting ready. And then we're going to some big place where I'm going to spend the, the rest of the day shopping with her. So there you go. Anyway, guys, the game bub. If you remember, we featured this on the channel previously. That's my video where we were asking you guys for feedback on what you think, what you would like and what your likes and dislikes are. So what's really cool is you'll notice that in this video, we have got a game bub and it's a portrait mode. Uh, game bug right so this is a game boy inspired fpga device that will run your game boy your game boy color and your game boy advanced stuff so a lot of the feedback was and feedback for myself as well was we want a landscape shaped one right we have the analog pocket which is like our little fpga game boy uh, we've got the fpga game boy color itself then we've got the mod retro chromatic we really want a landscape one and given the fact that the game bub actually plays game boy advance as well so game boy advance game boy color and the game boy dmg a landscape design is what we want so eli the main developer behind this has gone taken that advice on board and they have actually created that so going so right the crowd supply page is live so crowdsupply.com i'll leave a link to this campaign in the description of the video if you want to back this you can and the great thing is it's open source and design files are available so if you actually wanted to make this yourself and you had the technical know-how you could actually do that but hey it might cost you too much doing it that way and there's a crowdfunding campaign which which has gone really really well actually we'll have a look at that as well so I'm not going to read through all of this. I've got an abridged version in an article that I wrote on Metal Game Solid, and we'll have a look at that. But uh, in essence, it's a Game Boy. Now, one of the things Eli, the developer, mentioned was the issue that he was having when he went from uh, vertical to horizontal was the battery location. And then, boom, a eureka, a light bulb moment came, and he was like, I can use two batteries. And that's what you can see in the back there. You can see uh, Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance and Metroid is at the return of Samus uh, on the original Game Boy DMG. So looking good. There's a few different shells available, but this looks really, really cool. Oh, I just got a thing for transparent shells. You know, transparent shells, does that mean transparency with the project? Hopefully it does. Now, I always have to say that whenever you are backing something that is a crowdfund, there's always an element of risk. I am definitely very, very confident in this, but do your own due diligence. Only back something if you have the funds to do so and just in the back of your mind always have the idea that something can go wrong at some point now let's have a look at the cost that is so the game bub by itself is 249.99 so fully assembled game bub with transparent enclosure shipping to the us eight dollars and eighteen dollars worldwide or if you want the campaign exclusive game bub transparent purple so fully assembled game bub with limited edition transparent purple enclosure with white pcb please note that this is a mock-up of the transparent purple enclosure the actual purple enclosure won't be produced until after the end of the campaign okay so a mock-up there depends i mean if i was getting free i'd probably just go for this transparent one the purple one does look nice but hell so there's 50 dollars in my wallet then if you want to play this on a large screen there's also a game bub dock so like the unlock pocket there's a dock and for anyone that wants to stream game boy stuff via fpj this might be a good option because it'll be easy to connect this to your capture card so about the team second bedroom and as far as i know there's like one main person behind this eli lip sits hopefully i've said that name correctly so let's have a look at this article i wrote on uh, metal game solid because it's easy to do articles because when i'm on when i'm on holiday right or vacation i think you guys call it in the usa because when i'm out i'm on my phone and you know the kids are doing whatever and I'm, I'm on there and i can write an article and i actually wrote this one entirely on my phone and uh, big shout out to uh, eli because i'm using all his images here so let me read this hopefully i can make sense of it i did write it late last night so the game bub is an open source fpga based retro emulation handheld developed by second bedroom it is designed to play games from the game boy game boy color and game boy advance the device is compatible with both original game cartridges and ROM files, which can be loaded from the micro SD card. So absolutely great. Play your original games, play your ROMs, dump your ROMs, play them, put your uh, cartridges back, especially now that they're getting to be worth more money uh, back in the box, you know? Uh, the handheld includes several key features for an enhanced gaming experience. It's, it's equipped with a backlit IPS screen, stereo speakers, and a rechargeable 
USB Type-C battery that provides over 15 hours of battery life. To ensure full compatibility with a wide range of games, the GameBub incorporates a built-in rumble motor, a real-time clock, and accelerometer, <laughs> always get that word wrong, and a gyroscope. So what's really cool over here, 15 hours battery life, that, that's pretty much you can take it out and play it all day. Now that might be, you know, with um, let's say the screen brightness halfway volume so maybe if you pump it up for you might get like 12 10 hours but that's still a great battery for a, a great day of gaming that you can take out with you but what's really interesting here is a built-in rumble motor so some games will rumble right remember we had that rumble cart for the Game Boy Advance and then stuff rumbled and maybe there can be some other like custom made rumble stuff that can be implemented once this is out for example we've got rumble on SNES games where SNES didn't support rumble so that's coming now real time clock I know that's really important for the Pokemon guys so if you've got your Pokemon carts and you want to play them well now you've got a real time clock so the day and everything can change it's not something I've used I kind of really started really really proper playing Pokemon as bad as it sounds on the 3DS uh, an accelerator and a gyroscope so like with a gyroscope now I think was it Wario Wario we're twisted right so you know you can use that stuff there to get that kind of movement a special feature that was built into the car now you can play that with a ROM so this really does look like essentially the ultimate version of the Game Boys and I say Game Boys because well, it does all the Game Boys. It's not limited to anything else. Now, I have an analog pocket. I love the analog pocket, and that still does that. Um, so again, it's it's out there for the Game Boy. Getting it for the Game Boy fans out there. Now, unfortunately, I currently don't have the disposable income, and I'd feel guilty if I bought this because I'd rather spend the money on my kids at the moment. But uh, you never know. You never know. Maybe down the line somewhere, I may pick one up. But for now, I'm not backing it. But honestly, if I had the cash lying around, I would definitely, definitely go go for that. So reading on, for multiplayer functionality, the device supports link cables, allowing it to connect to other Game Boy units or original Game Boy systems. It's, it is also, is also capable of backing up and restoring game cartridges. So you can, you can create your own rips, you can back them up, and you can play multiplayer. So Tetris, anyone remember that back in the day, or Mario Kart. So an, option, an optional accessory, uh, an optional accessory, the GameBub dock, is available to extend the device's capabilities. When docked, the handheld can connect to a television via HDMI and supports a variety of Bluetooth controllers, including those from Xbox, DualShock and Switch Pro. The GameBub is built around the XC7A 100T FPGA and includes an ESP32 S3 microcontroller, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth LE. The project's hardware, firmware and gateway are fully open source, making it a platform for FPGA development and customization. Uh, it's also nice to see the initial design plans go from land, uh, go from portrait to landscape that I mentioned kind of near the beginning of the video. Uh, this new ergonomical design will be better for extended playing sessions. And if you're interested in buying one, check out the crowdfunding campaign. Now guys, this looks super, super good. And what I'm really interested in is what we will get in the future. You know, what are we gonna get with this? It's open source. We could potentially get other calls. You know, developers might like this. They might be, oh, you know what? It's fully open. We wanna support this and let's bring some calls over. I mean, I'm very, very confident other people will pick it up and we'll see some other calls for it. As to what the limitations are, I guess time will tell. But that's it, guys. Let me know what you think of the game, bub. It definitely looks like a promising, promising project. And let's just have a look at the how much have they actually raised? That's what I have a look at. Sorry, guys, rough around the edges video more than even usual because you know what? Um, yeah, I'm doing this while I'm on holiday. So where where is it? Where is it? Okay, I definitely saw it. I saw. I was looking at this on my mobile, and they've they've achieved. Oh, here we go. Right here. Right. So, uh, ten thousand seven hundred and ninety-five raised. Let's let's hit refresh and see if anyone has backed this. So they've got thirty-two backers so far, and that's just one day. Uh, I don't think it's even been a full twenty-four hours since this has been alive, and. Uh, it's 11% funded. So it looks like it's going to hit its target, right? Because uh, going by that, they should really be done in about 10 days if the momentum stays the same. Usually the momentum may slow down because people that want it, they just want it straight away. So yeah, looking good. Definitely share your thoughts about this. I mean, they've put a good video out about it where you can see part of it, you know, some of it in action and what it's kind of intended to do. So yeah, guys, share your thoughts. Let me know what you think of the game, bub what you're going to play on it first, what you're excited about, are you just, are you happy that you can run your Game Boy camera like seen over there, or are you like more interested in 
what other cores will become available. Definitely for me, the form factor is just amazing. I'm so glad that the developer took the feedback from the community to give it that horizontal, that landscape footprint. You know, that's what we want to play. And that's going to be comfortable for extended sessions of playing because like, okay, I, I like the unlock pocket. I can play it for a long time. But if I'm playing a game that requires a lot of dexterity and a lot of like inputs, like an arcade style game, then I definitely, then the analog pocket does lack there a little bit. Playing stuff like Pokemon and Tetris on the analog pocket, yeah, no issues all day long. But anytime I load up like say a Street Fighter game or Gunstar Super Heroes, yeah, my, my finger, my hands start to cramp up. I've got big hands. So this is definitely a very, very good and welcome addition. Anyway, guys, I feel like I'm getting on. Maybe I should just be quiet, edit this video and... Uh, take the wife and the kids out to this massive shopping place where they've got lots of kids activities too anyway guys be awesome to one another this is pixel cherry ninja out